Yeah. You going? You going? You going? I'm going. Back door in one time. Oh, you were, you were. I couldn't do it. Oh, got it. Come here, man. How did ass look? Trey Ball, Money Graham, man. I told, hey, the green machine legit, boy. What you gonna do, bro? Flotation device, my boy. Stop playing with me. Oh, you can't help. Right! Why the both ran to me? <laughs> I started doing more. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Look. I know you guys are having some issues with shooting. I know you need the best badge set up. I know that you just, you, you want to become a more consistent shooter. I am someone who is that consistent shooter and I can show you the way right after this. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my current bad setup. Uh, I'm going to let y'all see that in one second, but I want to show y'all really quickly that I am legit. All right. All right. Here we go. Look, this is in the park. 65.8 and rising 88.8 win percentage or whatever you want. It, it, it is what it is, man. Uh, in the in the wreck, I don't even play that much wreck. 49% in the wreck. Once I get back in there, it's going to go up. All that good stuff. So you know what? I am certified in the trenches. Blah, blah, blah. Yakety smackety. All that stuff, man. I just want to let you guys know this. All right? So you can take what I'm telling you. And now uh, you can pretty much take it to the bank, man. This is the best shooting badge setup. If you got 30 badges, this is what I would recommend. I say catch and shoot. But this is if you're, if you're a catch and shoot type of person too. So catch and shoot. Flexible release, volume shooter on, I got this, that on Hall of Fame, range extend on Hall of Fame, hot zone hunter dead on Hall of Fame, clutch shooter, and green machine. The reason that I say use these, man, it makes it makes hitting greens so much easier once you hit a couple of greens or something like that, man. And you can even put volume shooter and do it like that right here. I feel like, I'm gonna be honest, they say that green machine kicks in, uh, let me see, gives you an additional shot boost when consecutively achieving uh, excellence, bro. They say it works after uh, after shot number two or something. That's your second green. To me, it feels like it works after my first green. But if you got 30 badges, if you do it like this, I promise you, bro, you should have no problem shooting the ball. I tried steady shooter, but once I put on my faster jump shot, um, I really felt like once I had my faster jump shot, it was it just wasn't even worth it. Now, if you only have a few badges, right? Because every not everybody's gonna have the badges that I have um 30 shooting badges like i have these are the absolutely essential badges because that's what you guys are here for if you've got just if you're let's say if you're spot up and you just now starting off this is how you should start range extender all the way first some people only got 12 shooting badges if you're spot up range extender and catch and shoot will help you hit way more shots once you do that you want to go hot zone and then you go dead eye. So what's that? Four, four, four. This is if you got 16 badges. Some people got 19 badges. Um, if you have nine, if you had 19 badges, so what's this? 16. You can do three. I would probably do this. If I had 19 badges, I'd probably do this right here and go with clutch shooter. And the reason that I'd probably do it like this, that's what's that? Yeah, four, four, eight, 12, 16, and then three is 19. I'd probably do it like this. And just because of the fact that if I only got a few badges, then you know, I, I got to make sure because clutch shooter really just makes you hit shots when, you know, once the game, once they hit 12 or so, that's when you, that's when you're really going to notice the kick in. You're not really going to miss. And there's some shots that you feel like you might have missed time at that point in time. They're going to just go in. So make sure that you, uh, you know, make sure that you put that on. That's why I'm a big advocate for it. I wasn't the biggest advocate for it in the beginning, but now I'm just like, yo, I got to use this joint, man. So if you only have like what, if you only got 12 badges, then I would probably, if you got 12 badges, you're probably not a catch and shoot person. So I would probably go with this. Range extender, hot, hot zone hunter. Uh, what's this? This is 15 badges right here. So uh, with 15 points, I'd probably go range extender, hot zone hunter, dead eye, and then, then clutch shooter. And you could probably do like this, put dead eye on gold, clutch shooter on hall of fame. You could probably, you could probably take dead eye down to silver 
and put uh and put green machine there you could probably take clutch shooter down like that do something like this if you only got like 15 badges if i had 12 badges i'm gonna be honest with you i had 12 badges this is what i would do i would probably go here so put clutch shooter there some people some people are using 12 badges like this but i feel like you gotta have some form of dead out there so if you had 12 badges this is probably what i would uh probably what i would go with um but if you're a catch and shoot player then i would definitely probably go catch catch like this and then uh you know maybe i do like that go with that and then just probably try to play without dead i only had 12 badges but the, the biggest thing that I can tell you is, and this is if you're a spot up or something like that. I don't know if you if there's if there even if there are even any spot ups with just that many badges. But if I had 19 badges like on my other character, and I'm a spot up, I go with this. So this is this is 12. This is uh that's 16, and then like we said with 19, I probably go with clutch. Yeah. So there you go right there. This this these bad setups are going to help you hit the most shots. And uh, you know stuff like that. And like I said, you probably can come down off of that and go with some green machine, and then you can probably, you know, kind of go between these. Some people got 22 badges, uh, so that's three more. So I would probably go Dead Eye, Clutch, and then you could probably go Dead Eye on Hall of Fame. You could probably go Clutch on Hall of Fame. You could probably do that. The re the only reason that I would ever go with Volume Shooter is once you got luxury badges, because I really feel like feel like with the luxury badges you could do that or oh if you got 22 you could probably do this i would probably do this flexible release and uh probably take maybe probably take this down to bronze and put flexible release on hall of fame i'm not gonna lie man if you can afford to put flexible release on hall of fame i would definitely do it so in the situation where you only got uh a few badges you could probably do like this put flexible release on gold let's say if you got 12 badges right uh flexible release on gold put clutch shooter on one like that um, and all that this is like if you have problems with time in your shot like i said i feel like flexible release is a luxury badge some people don't feel like it's a luxury badge they feel like they must have it so if you feel like you must have it i'll probably go go like this the main thing that i'm trying to tell you is that you've got badges that you need and the ones that you don't need the only two that i feel like are absolutely essential in this whole thing are this these right here you gotta have range extender if you're a spot up you need catch and shoot if you're not a spot up then you're gonna need hot zone hunter right so hot zone hunter even if you are a spot up you're gonna need a hot zone hunter so i would probably go range extender and hot zone hunter before i went anything else but if you're a spot up i would go range extender and catch and shoot first and then you go from there then you work your way into the hot zone hunter and all of the other badges that's just how i would do it but like i said as it stands um I mean, if, you, if you're stuck in the corner or something like that and you have a low three ball, then you have to go corner specialist. And then I would probably go clutch shoot or something like that. Like if I had 19, um, what's that? That's that's uh, the, 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 that, that's 19 right there. So I'll probably go something like that or take corner specialist down some, put some on dead out, something like that. It, it just really depends on it's your situation and all of that. But your absolutely essential badges are these three if you're a spot up. Catch, range, hot zone and then like i said after that with, with the 30 that i got this is how this is how i'm going this is how i'm going with it i got volume shooter here and i got flexible release here that's how i have it right now and when i'm telling you that i rarely miss like if i miss and i shoot with the shot stick too so if i miss i feel like it's 100 my fault and even though that this this right here kicks in after 10 or 12 points or something like that uh it's still very 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 much worth it and like i said green machine just helps shots turn green after you start hitting them stuff like that i would probably stay away from slippery off ball i tried to use it the other day i really don't i really didn't see a big difference um tireless shooter is actually a good badge if you're a point guard but you got to have a lot you know you got to have a whole bunch of badges like i said with this you can always take some dead eye down like some people take dead eye down and put it on bronze and put this tire shooter on go i don't have no problem with that but i don't shoot I'm, I'm a spot up i'm just a center and um so that's why i do what i do anyway man hopefully this helped you guys out the main thing that you want to take away from this is that the two essential badges are you got to have range extender first that's the badge that i would put on absolutely first before anything else and then i would start working up from there if you're a spot up like I said, these are the two badges that I shot. I started with catch and shoot and range extender. Once I got that, then I worked myself in the hot zone. Then I went dead eye. Then I flexible release. And then after that, 
after I had after I had these badges right here, I just I was like, okay, I'm I'm ready to go now. I could I could really do anything I want. So I had like 16 points and I was a spot up. Once I had these, I felt like I wasn't really missing. And then I put this on for just for some protection. I put that on for, for at the end of the game protection. And uh, you know, I just put these on just to test them out. I really just put volume shooter on to test it out just because I, I don't take enough shots to really feel like I'm making effective. But I got luxury badges, so why not why not let it fly? And um, some people say you steady shooter, but the jump shot that I put out yesterday is so fast that people rarely get a chance to close out on you. And I feel like if they get a chance to close out on me, it is, it's not gonna help me out anyway. But anyway, man, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, like I said, I'm shooting I'm shooting a very high percentage and I'm on the center and I only got a, I got an 89 three ball. And I just got that because I'm at 99 right now, man. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, please.